what's up everyone and welcome to another video in this video we'll be seeing about how to create a graphical user interface GUI in Python 3 so in Python 3 a standard library provided for creating a GUI is Skinter and it has all resources for creating a basic de desktop application which can be extensively used anywhere so in this video I'll be just showing you some basics of Kinter or the entire thing and later on I'll be going into some more deep stuff like event handling and creating uh, text fields, outputs and how to create a database and rest things etc etc so let's in this video we'll be just only creating a window providing a background color I'll be showing you how to create a button how to place that button and running the main loop loop sorry so let's begin so to import the module you have to just write from kinter it's take enter but it's actually spelled kinter because the t is silent import star and you have to create an object to store that Take into variable, take into video, uh, sorry, window, whatever it might be for you. So I'll be considering root, and this root, this object will be carried out to the entire process of the program, wherever create any widget in the entire window. So, kinter, this is how you store something of kinter into the root variable or an object so whenever you create a button text field or provide any command to a button you have to call this root every time and to even execute the window for um, for the window it has to be like root dot main loop so this will run the entire window and complete the loop so let's see so this is the basic window just in three steps of line that's it you have just created an entire window which is sizable you can also change the size but this is not it you have to do something more so let's go further and provide a title to that window welcome to kinter how bad so this is the title of the window and let's go with a geometry so in geometry we will be providing dimensions to the window like root dot geometry open and I guess 400 into 500 within height then we'll be providing yeah that's it and we'll just see how it works so this is the window and this is the title and this is the dom geometry even if you provide a geometry or do not provide a geometry the window is resizable in any format but for a standard application you have to provide geometry or else the user interface will be messed up like totally so geometry is necessary now I'll be telling you how to create a background how to provide a background color to that window so like always we have to call the root because it's important configure open bracket then provide background and powder blue that's more light color and I prefer that 
it may vary upon users so save and run okay there is some oh sorry spelling mistake save and run so as you can see the entire window has been colored and you don't have to pre um, provide any dimensions for the background as it adapts to the size of the window so you don't have to worry about that too and yep this is the pretty basic things now I'll be showing you how to create a button so for it we'll be considering a variable or an object to store everything of button into that object and wherever you use it you just call that button that's it you don't have to like uh, provide a standard method for using that button so button one is equal to the standard method of button then root it's important like I said providing a text what will be written into that button yeah obviously it's button then providing width equal to 3 and height is equal to 3 yeah that's good and then placing placing of the button back so this uh, this is like calling the button to for an execution or or after providing everything every variables like high dimension and everything you have to close it and it's like a loop like the calling like like we call window over here it's like a loop for button two so when we close this the button will appear in the window so this method can be also carried out like um, place and providing the x coordinate and y coordinate close then you can also use grid sorry grid rows and columns and these are the three met methods of placing a window anywhere entirely in the window anywhere so pack place and grids as you can use the choice is up to you save and run so as you can see yes the button is created and the dimensions are not proper five yeah that's good so we have created a button likewise you can create many different things like output box text box checklist select drop down menu radio buttons etc etc providing a background in an image format labels frames this will be all shown in the later videos but in this video it was it this was this was it and next video i'll be going something deeper into kinter like how to provide a event handling function or providing a frame or a label etc so thanks for watching this video guys and do like share and subscribe peace